Karuna means compassion, and it provides an introductory level, compassionate listening care education for spiritual practitioners of the Sanata Dharma religious tradition, like the Gaudiya Vaishnavism and Bhakti Yoga. And um, it's for people who aspire to provide lay chaplain ministry in hospitals, hospices, prisons, airport chapels, college campuses, psychiatric hospitals, police departments, the military, in your religious community, in fact, any place where you can find people with broken hearts. So it's, it's a skill that you can use everywhere. There is suffering people. In this particular course, we want to broaden the notion of grief as something that is a natural, normal, necessary process of living in this material world, in love with family and friends, but not just that, in terms of responding to all kinds of life cycle losses, like perhaps losing a job, or moving, moving a home, or even losing our health, losing our faith, losing a limb. And so while we have always thought of grief in terms of the loss of a loved one to death, Grief is so much bigger than that. Typically, you know, when people start out on a spiritual path, whether it's Krishna consciousness or Buddhism or Christianity, they tend to uh, think that because they have an exalted philosophy or theology, that they're actually at that platform in a realized sense. So there's a, there's a gap between, okay, here we are as human beings and we now take a spiritual path and we somehow jump. We like to jump to here without actually making that realized, integrated uh, growth. But what we're doing in, in Karuna Care is helping people start where they are in their spiritual growth, acknowledge uh, the pain of the past losses and uh, help them integrate those uh, wounds, those feelings of grief so that they may be honest and humble, authentic people who can uh, connect with their heart to other suffering people uh, from their own painful experiences. What we need to do is learn how to, from our own painful experience, join a person who's suffering where they are and companion them as a compassionate presence.